We're moving on to Feralis here. Took the teleporter from Booty Bay over here. Quick, easy way to get to Feralis. Mounting up, and now I'm gonna jump off and use my filled festive mug uh, for slow fall. This is an item you can only obtain New Year's Day, Lunar New Year, and 4th of July. Um, and it's, it, it really feels like it's bugged and it's working in a peculiar and strange way. Uh, on those holidays, you can go to a major city and there'll be a bunch of mugs around. You can cl click them to get an empty festive mug. And then you right click the barrel and turn it into a filled festive mug. This says it's unique, but it's not really. The The way this is bugged is um, you can fill up your inventory with like 50 of them. Filled festive mugs, like loot the empty mug, fill it, loot the empty mug, fill it, fill up your inventory. Then when you log out and log back in, all the filled festive mugs in your inventory get like condensed into one stack. But you see, there's no like stack indicator here, right? So it doesn't look like an item stack, but that's kind of how it's working. And then it has a limited duration, right? It says duration zero seconds. This one says duration one day. Basically what's happening now is only one item in the stack is losing duration at any given time. So if you stacked up 50 of them and then logged out, logged back in, you'd basically have a filled festive mug for about 50 days and access to slow fall pretty much whenever you want it. Uh, before that would expire and finally go away from your inventory. Um, and yeah, that doesn't seem like something that, you know, if you ask me, is something that is, uh, you know, working as intended. But it's the way it is, and it's been a thing for a very long time. Uh, this is this has been like a bug with filled festive mugs since like 2005. <laughs> Thick Yeti hides. Okay. Wild leather armor. Thick leather. Oh, I think that's a leather working quest. Oh wait, we have a we have a belt we can sell. This thing. Yeah, don't need that. Okay. Uh yeah, so I got that on a couple of my characters, so slow access to slow fall is pretty nice. One more quest I didn't pick up. Ogres of Feralis. Where is this quest? It is apparently right on top of me. Rock or Han? Mm, target rock. Uh, he's not like under the bridge, is he? Okay, maybe this is just some bug with Questy that's displaying the quest in the wrong location. Krug Skull Splitter. Trying to see if I can find an NPC called Rock. You waiting to upgrade to 15 agility when prices come down? I uh, yeah, I don't know. I have one weapon that's worthy of having a good enchant. I'm kind of like deciding, do I want to go for a second Dire Nail? Do I want to pick up a uh, Julie's Dagger? Like, I, I feel like spending a thousand gold on Julie's Dagger is maybe not smart. <laughs> now I've targeted the NPC. Where is it? There it is. And so then like if I don't get a Julie's dagger, it means I would want to get a second dire nail, which is Double Dire Nail is like a okay setup for Honor Among Thieves and it's an okay setup for focus attacks, but it's not a good setup. You're gonna have com try to have combat potency. 
Uh, okay, let's. It sounds like we got a couple, at least two quests: Gordoni Kobold and Ogres of Feralus. So we could go over there for the Gordoni Ogres. Yeah, Hedonist Rug. What happened with that is, um, Wowhead has a limited amount of data on the num on vile slime kills. They have like a hundred kills or something, and like one person happened to get a Julie's dagger there. So Wowhead reports one percent drop rate, which isn't really true. But they also don't have, you know, when you have a little bit more context and understand what the item is and how it drops, you you recognize that that's kind of bogus. And it's just like a small sample size anomaly. Um, a lot of people come into stream being like, I farmed vile slimes because wow had said 1%. And it's like, that's, I mean, good on you for look, you know, looking at wow had using the available resource. Unfortunately, this is a case where the, the available like resource and uh, information is, you yeah, not gonna tell you the whole story exactly <laughs> without a little bit of extra context <laughs> why does the english language change up letters from ogre ogres to ogres uh, I have no idea. English has a lot of weird things. <laughs> Alright, so what do we gotta do? We gotta kill some brutes. We gotta find... What's it? Gordoni Kobold. And we're also trying to find, uh... Gordoni Scroll. Is maybe like a looted item on the ground, perhaps? I'm not sure. Or maybe it drops from the mobs. We'll see. We can make our way through here doing these other quests, see if we run into anything that looks like a Gordoni scroll. This blue stuff on the ground. Nothing, apparently. I uh, resisted my pickpocket. He's only level 41. How dare you resist my pickpocket at level 41? Alright, we're gonna blade flurry both of these dudes. Boom. Little slicey dice up. Big stun. To dig for Gordoni Kobold. Iron deposit? No. Oh, wait. Gordoni Dirt Mound. Okay. I was missing something about that quest. Okay. Maybe these blue things are indicating where I might find cobalt? Let's see. I'm also looking at the questy indicators of where it thinks I can get this stuff. Let's see if there's like blue indicators next to the next spot. Here's little, little bits of blue right there. Yeah, I think that is what that's indicating. That it's a spot that I should dig for cobalt. Okay, that's kind of neat. I like that. Big stun. Sun's a pretty nice um, 
because uh, you stun the mob, they don't do damage to you. Um, so uh, you don't have to heal yourself as often. Alright, there's like a big ogre cave area back through this way. Ooh, superior healing potion. That's good. That is uh, above average pickpocket loot, I would say. Looting a pickpocket item that I actually care about. Are you leatherworking on this rug? Hell yeah, I am. I'm leatherworking on all of my rugs. A lot of the leatherworking gear is, is very good for rugs. Now... I'm looking forward to getting the Paranoia Mantle on this guy at max level because it's extra wide and looks funny, which I really like in classic items when they look kind of ridiculous. Um, but what I'm not looking forward to doing is running back and forth to Moonglade like four times or whatever it is that are required for this quest. You have any troll rogues? If not, why? Orcs better. Big orc, big blade flurry, blood fury. If Zy if Zyrene brings back saber slash, we're gonna be snapshotting not only saber slash but also deadly poison, and I'm gonna be very happy that I'm blood fury. Right now, we're just snapshotting deadly poison with the bonus attack power. Basically. If you have a temporary attack power boost like Blood Fury or like the Exalted Emerald Warden's Trinket, uh, and you apply your initial five stacks of Deadly Poison with that temporary attack power bonus active, that five stack of Deadly Poison will retain the elevated damage per tick of that temporary attack power bonus for its entire duration. Um, so that makes these temporary attack power bonuses very strong, uh, especially on longer fights where that deadly poison activation or, or stack is going to be there for a long time. Yeah, also known as snapshot. Some people, a lot of people like they hear buzzwords like snapshot and then they start saying them and they don't know what it means. And like, so I like to explain it whenever I talk about it. Oh, there's some blue stuff on the ground. We gotta get it. Uh, yeah, so the two things that rogues have that snapshot like that are deadly poison. It checks for your attack power when you go from zero to one stack, from one to two, from two to three, three to four, and four to five. But once you're at five stack, it's not rechecking your attack power uh, again. Um, that does it like that, and Saber Slash does it like that. Uh, but Saber Slash is just not quite there. <laughs> Oh, we got a shield. I'm not, I'm, but I'm not focused on this shield. I'm focused on this Gordoni Kobold I can get over here. Also, we got to keep an eye out for the Gordoni Scroll. Uh, I still don't know what that is if I loot it off the ground or if it drops off of one of these mobs. But my questie showed me that it was a, it was a thing to look for around here quest starter type of thing. Young Brancito says, Nice hat, Simon. Uh, how did that silo Cybin Angola trip when I didn't do anything like that? Nope. Nope. The only drug I'm high on is life.
Damn, I need to get on this Cobalt situation. I only have 5 out of 12. Wait, there it is, the Gordani scroll. We found it. All right, let's see what this quest is about. Gordani scroll. Bring the Gordani scroll to Rock Orhan. Excellent, extra quest. We were gonna talk to that guy again anyways. Easy experience. stun i would do uh when i do the stuns it's usually because i don't have enough deadly poison stacks to make in venom good uh you need combo points and deadly poison stacks to make in venom do a lot of damage you see here i'm up to a high number of combo points my actually stuns on cooldown but there we go Stun him he's dead now Uh, it looks like there's... Oh, Gordani Ogres. We have one kill credit on those so far? That seems weird. Have I just been killing... Yeah, like, I killed a bunch of Ogre Mages. I killed a bunch of Brutes. There's an Ogre. I somehow have missed a bunch of Ogres that I need to kill. And only killed Brutes and Ogre Magis. Let me get up on the thing. Here we go. Okay, there we go. Ak Z, humanoid elite. Wonder if that's a rare spawn. Nope, just regular old elite. Um, well, let's kill it. My health is mostly full. This is a caster mob. It only has 5.7 thousand health. So I'm really not too worried here. Even as an elite, I think I will be fine. Kick. Whoa. Warrior coming in. He got poisoned by my toxic revenger. <laughs> Like, he looks like he does not want to kill me. Okay. I've killed a level 50 hunter before on this character. I'm not sure if attacking that guy is a good idea. Right, this is a brute, an ogre magi, and then a dead end. Okay, we're backing out of this cave. kill him easily you say uh, maybe All right, now there's a gordoni ogre here i don't know what the deal is how i avoided killing those for so that particular mob type for so long and now they're just here oh, it looks like there's some kobolds here also You know, I did have Thistle Tea available. I probably could have killed the warrior. I think it I think it comes down to like, does my kidney shot get resisted? If I get him in a in a five point kidney, he's probably dead. Cause I can just turret mutilates into him using a Thistle Tea. And he'll probably die. But you know, if he's not stunned in a kidney shot, he's probably gonna have a pretty high chance to like dodge and parry those mutilates and it'll be annoying will focus attacks be bits well focus attacks and the other helm runes are all good uh there's just different situations that you use different ones 
uh, like different requirements to make them good. Uh, for focus attacks, you need to have a really high critical strike chance um, to uh, make it better than, say, like combat potency in terms of the energy gain. Um, this is like uh, above, above like about 35% is where it starts to be a little bit better than combat potency. Um, and then like if you if you want it to be like meaningfully better, you, you want to have even higher critical strike chance. You see all the casual Andes rejoice in the orb removal? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I updated the thumbnail of my video. You see? I just plastered nerfed check pinned comment over the whole uh over the whole video. <laughs> thumbnail. Uh, I I'd say it, it was um I'd say it was a good move by Blizzard to remove that. Even even as someone who was uh, logging hours in the orb farm to earn my righteous orb in the guild. Yeah, that was that probably needed to go. Alright, maybe these ogre mages share spawn with the regular ogres. Let's just kill them. Did you get enough courier kill points? I logged about eight hours of farming. Seven, eight hours? Yeah, as I read, the map I did was that we would kill the mob about every four minutes with a squad of 10 people. And with a 2% drop rate, that means to get two orbs, we'd have to farm it for uh, about six hours, 40 minutes. Um, but that's the effort of 10 people for six hours, 40 minutes. So that's roughly you know, 66 hours, 40 minutes total gameplay time, you know, uh, per Crusader enchant. <laughs> that's, um, maybe that's a bit much. Yeah, that was, that was really the innovations, Irene. Uh, I hadn't figured that one out. My guild hadn't figured that one out until after I had posted the video. And it's like, honestly, I, I reflected on it. I was like, yeah, it doesn't even make the video much better if I include, you know, the four minute respawn with 10 people strategy because most of the people watching the video are just not going to do this regardless. <laughs> so I didn't, uh, you know, I, I put it updated in the pinned comment is all I did, yeah. But, um, yeah, we found some other interesting stuff. We're pretty sure that the Crimson Courier patrol across the zone does not move if no players are observing it, if no players have it loaded. And to get it to respawn uh, without killing it, it has to get all the way to Tear's hand and then when it like enters the chapel or something, it despawns. That's how every patrol works. I that was that's actually news to me. I didn't know that. Do you have Crusader? No. Unfortunately, no. My guild uh acquired a total of uh three orbs, but I think only one orb was during like a guild organized farm. So it went to like guild bank for distribution. Um, 
Wait, I just got a chewed bone out. Wait, can I dig this same pile up again? What's the deal with this? Can I get cobalt out of this? Okay. Wait. I thought it was like a one per type of thing. But it seems like I can... Okay, now it's done. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. We have how much cobalt? Eight, so we need four more of those. Okay, now I know that maybe it's each of these blue little things is indicating one one shovel usage. I was just doing one and moving on because I just I actually just assumed that's how it worked. You can spam click. What do you mean? Then loot all on one place. Oh, do multiple shovels and then multiple loots. Instead of shovel, loot, shovel, loot. I'm not sure that actually helps me, but I'll try it. I, I don't know if that makes anything any faster. But let's go. Dig up cobalt. Dig up cobalt. Dig up cobalt. Okay. Well, Gordani's scroll is there, but we already got Gordani's scroll. Wait, I think there's a little bit more. Is that a blue? That's some blue indicator. Okay. Let's dig that up. Seeing from SOD FAQ now that Fiery seems a good amount better than plus four damage. Yep. Yep, that's about right. I'm gonna loot this again, see what it tells me. Nothing. Uh, okay, we actually now have all the Gordani Ogre kills that we need. Just go over here, there's a little bit more Cobalt. We need one more of those. Here's the thing. What, what I'm thinking about is... Can you use Arcanite Dragonlings, Flame Buffet debuff, that increases fire damage taken by the target to boost fiery weapon damage? Um, I would assume the answer is yes. And I'd never really thought about this before. But, like, there's a lot of classic era raids where, like, 35 people in the raid have Arcanite Dragonling, and they're throwing down multiple Arcanite Dragonlings on every boss, and putting up five stacks of this Flame Buffet debuff. If Fiery Weapon triggers and gets plus 300 damage from Flame Buffet, well, that's really good. And it's probably, like, it probably blows every enchant out of the water, even in Classic Era. This guy is called Slash PvP. And he just burned his Shadow Step. I feel like we have to at least try. All right, we slash PVP'd him. 100% worth the Thistle Tea. <laughs> now we run back to town where the guards will protect us. Here's our quest turn in person. Uh huh. 4,800. 4, Wants you to kill shaman, warlock, and maulers. That's like, okay. Kill a bunch more mobs. Gordani scroll. Find a Gordani orb. Okay. Funny, 
boots or cloak. This one vendors for two more silver, so I'll take it. All right, let's talk to a merchant. Trade supplies, good enough. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to vendor. This, we're gonna vendor shrunken head mm, that must be for one of the other quests i picked up okay whatever and then mailbox we can send a bit of stuff over to simon eyes bank there we go uh, other ogre quest. Uh, let's see. Woodpole, Woodpot, Knoll, Main, Sprite Darter Wings, Gordoni Warlocks. Wow, there's a there's a lot more quests we can do. That's cool. Let's go do the Knolls and maybe the Sprite Darters. Premier says the one hour cooldown on the Dragonling is pretty rough. Yeah, but basically, like, if you have a big raid of a lot of people that have dragonlings, then, like, you can rotate through them and have, like, three or four used on each boss. Right? And then they, they should stack the debuff up reasonably quickly. Because they can all, con as far as I'm aware, they can all contribute to the same five stack, right? So they, they can get it up to five quickly if you have multiple. But like, I, I don't know, like, man, if, <laughs> if you're assuming that you're going to have flame buffet debuff on the boss, like, I think fiery weapon might just be the best enchant. But that's kind of a special situation i would say that i would say uh n most people are not going to be in that situation big blade flurry going on here Woodpaw, Noel, May. Oh, we got three of them. Okay, let's go. Hmm. He's got a life drain active right now. That makes it incredibly difficult to kill him. We should wait until the life drain is done. Out of combat do i have the mobs on me i do not have any mobs on me right now i do now i'm definitely gonna die to his curses but i got honor points and he didn't okay that's what's important to remember I gotta get rank five eventually, okay? We've made three honor kills so far today. <laughs> Rap up up, hello, how's it going? Says you win. Was that was that you? Was that your warlock? He's fighting this other horde. I have to defend my horde brethren. Oh, he's he's donezo now. Perfect. 
I, I gotta heal up. Oh, she healed me. He's a shaman. So my, I looked at him and I thought he was a warrior. You know, he had some male shoulders or whatever, dual wielding some weapons. I, in my head, I just thought warrior. I didn't look too close, though. Ah, uh, two mobs here. We can blade flurry these dudes. Both of them dead. There's a lot of gnolls over here. Holy crap. This is a, a significant um, amount of gnolls. No shortage here <laughs> of mobs to kill. Mostly horde populated here. We saw only a couple of alliance. We've definitely seen more horde than alliance. Oh, there's an alliance. Level 50 druid. The leech from DMF Decay can be counted as a successful heal. What, to like interact with the overgrowth trinket? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I am not too keen on spending the gold required to get the overgrowth trinket just to find that out. Man, I wonder though. I mean, the proc rate on Decay is now pretty high. Um, Decay can heal you. If you go next phase, you could get life stealing that could heal you. Um but do less damage than a different enchant, probably. I wonder if you could have enough healing triggers that happen often enough that running overgrowth... Here's the thing, it's like, you run trinkets that are worse than an alternative to get a healing effect, and then you also run the trinket that gives you the, like, chance to get energy when you do a healing effect. Every slot you're talking about here is, you know, uh, a DPS downgrade that then that DPS has to be recouped by, you know, whatever energy you're gaining. Which is uh, kind of, it's like, it's a lot to ask, right? Oh, I just let that guy heal himself. That was dumb. Whatever. They're all dead now. No, oh, I'm running pretty much exactly the leveling build that's on my Discord. We got Relentless Strikes, we got Blade Flurry, and we're putting a couple points into Remorseless Attacks. Null main, 10 out of 10. Okay, good. Quest done. And it's almost time for, let me check in with Sarth for podcast time. Wait, he has sent me a message an hour ago. Did we get the time zone screwed up? I don't know if I screwed up a time zone or if he sent me a message an hour ago thinking, I, I don't know, hang on, I messaged him right now.
Sarth's four bosses deep in a sunken temple. Oh, wait, hang on. Let, let's peep Sarth's stream real quick. <laughs> Twitch. Sarth. Um. Okay. Okay, after your sunken temple, we'll go. Doing some perilous questing right now. Swag. I thought I checked the time zones, but I don't know, maybe I messed it up. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna for sure lose the dagger. The dagger. What? Wait, is he rolling for a dagger right now? Wait, he's on rope. Wait, hold on. Yeah, he's hanging with a one hander. Are they about to pull... They're about to pull Dream Scythe and Weaver? I think? Okay, hang on. Mental saved. At least, Kags, I think I'm... Gameplay? All right, Simon, <laughs> hear me out, okay? Simon, just, just, I'm just gonna explain it. for so reference, this is, this is the sort of gear I'm wearing. Okay, mech builders. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. okay, we're struggling here. Okay, he's got combat potency. Diamond Plus healing set work inside? I haven't looked. He does like a, he moved to anywhere around this, like, ring. And he'll do does anyone knock get knocked? Make sure you're not okay, to we're gonna, I'm gonna mute that. When he actually pulls the boss, we'll tab back in. I got Feralist quest to do, it's important. Um, if you're melee, you can probably get locked into it's it. Good. So I don't die. Flies off when Weaver comes. Um, Wait, I don't think he has any trinkets, actually. I think he's on zero trinket gaming right now. Yeah, they're just going over the boss strategy. Oh, wait, this is where I turn the quest in. Okay, War on the Woodpaw. Woodpaw Alphas. Okay. Mm. Okay. This is a six of eight lockout for sure. Yeah, that's why. Let's just check this out for a moment. I'm leveling my my mage and other hunter just so that I can steal this six of eight lockout. I'll tank the. Why did you have the dark riders and don't the moss? What is Okay. I'll go back to my music. <laughs> this must be a fresh rogue. He's got the, look, he's got the Nomergon neck. I don't know what this helmet is. Emerald shoulders. He, oh, there's no master of subtlety rune. That's a bit of an issue. Cut to the chase. I like that. This looks like, um, this looks like he's not going to do very much damage based on looking at his gear and rune setup. All right, they're pulling the boss. All right, so you go into the middle like this. The bosses come down and then the green ooze spawns all over the place. You got to not be standing in the green. Um, isn't this the one where the green ooze comes out? Yeah, okay, there. It was just slightly delayed. Okay. Let's put up a slice and dice. Now, this part, very hard to mess up. At this point, very hard to mess up. This is why I love Cut to the Chase rune. Once the slice and dice is up, you just jam in Venoms. That's it. Okay, he almost died on that Shadow Step. Because it put him into the green goo. You saw he took a big oh, ticket damage, but, um, uh, you know, it, it was fine. Didn't die. It's fine. Dude Nukem, subscribe with Prime. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you for four months of support, man. 
Hang on, let me make my face go down so you can see Sarth's live reaction to his gameplay at the same time. Okay. Uh, here is where you want to be using Shadow Step. I don't think it really matters which one you attack. You just want to attack one that has debuffs on it. So like, if you have a warrior tank on one or the priest homunculus is on one of them, you always go back to that one. But post knockback is when you want to be using your shadow step for like maximum value. Yeah, good, good, good. Step, 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 step. Okay, we walked back to the target. That's also okay. I mean, it's not as good. But, you know, whatever. We're here now. Yeah, I mean, you press a lot of Envenoms with this build. The, the, the main thing, which is the main thing pretty much always, is just have more time on target. Like, use your Shadow Steps and your Sprints to get onto target as fast as possible. Uh, let's see, how much is he cranking? About 600 DPS, he's now 5th, now he's 6th, he was 4th just a little bit ago. He's gotta press more in Venoms and then he'll go back to being 4th. He, he could, look, the 4th, the 5th, and 6th are all very close. He, he has potential. Ah, uh, 5th, okay. Alright. Um... Uh, let's call it a... Uh, C plus would have been B plus if you had Master of Sub Rune and at least one trinket. Alright, Nerf wrote. Oh, number five on the meters. Alright, Simon. Simon Eyes, did you see it? How'd, how, how'd it go? Uh, are we back or are we back? C plus? This would have been B plus if you had Master Sub Rune and at least one trick. <laughs> yeah, but that was, so to place <laughs> it, was, it was fine. It was, uh, it was just not my, not my fault. You know? <laughs> not my fault. Hashtag not my fault. Okay? Is Blade of Eternal Darkness a big or actual insider info? No, it's live right now. I mean, it's insider info, yes, the actual drop. Okay, rate, good, good, good. Um, which I am not telling you, but it's, it's live right now. Uh, we'll chat with Sarth more later. We have Feralus quests to do. C's get degrees. Yeah, dude. I mean, he, he ended fifth in that raid among all the damage dealers. That's like better than the top half, you know? That's good. <laughs> All right, back to Feralus. Sprite darters. We need to we need to off some of these dudes. We need sprite darter wings. Ooh, small flame sack. That's money. Okay, those make dragon breath chilies, which everyone still uses. Okay. Forgot that these were such a good... I remember looking for, like, good places to farm small flame sacks in phase two. And I found, you know, I saw the sprite darters. They drop them. But, like, they're kind of high level and they're in this zone, so they're, like, probably a bit of an issue to kill quickly, you know? Can you kill them? Sure, but that's not the question when you're trying to determine, you know, is this a good farm? The question is, can you kill them quickly? These seem to be 43 to 45. Which race attack animation do you like the most? Uh, I don't know. I never really thought about that. I mostly pick I mostly pick my characters based on is their racial ability going to make me do more damage in a raid? <laughs> 
So... Grim Totem Naturalist. I don't need to kill any of those guys yet. So then I just picked Orc on all my characters. Pretty much. This wing drop rate seems pretty high. Taking out, taking care of this quest pretty quickly. Different profession events for mining or herbing. That's a like Stranglethorn and fish, fishing event could be cool. Mmm. -hmm. I don't know. I mean, my my imagination of something like that is like you have either an exclusive resource that can only be gathered during that event time or you make like the normally accessible resources way more available during that time. And I don't know, that just doesn't sound like that appealing of content to me. Oh, I have all the wings I need now. Let's go south, pick up these Woodpaw Alphas, or we could actually just go west. Do whatever this quest, let's see, Screecher Spirits, then circle down to here and here, and we can get these on the way back. Making a big loop here. Okay, um, I want to go up the hill. There we go. Now we are up the hill. Alphas are a timed quest. I I thought when I was killing the... Oh, you mean like there's a limit on the timer here. Um, Alpha strike. Oh. Yeah, okay. Maybe we should do that one first. 50 minutes, though. Nah, we'll probably be fine. We'll just go do other quests. It'll probably be fine, you guys. Creature spirit. Just need to find three of these dudes. I'm gonna aggro a bunch of stuff and not actually have Blade Flurry. Really, there's no advantage to pulling multiple mobs on a rogue unless you have Blade Flurry. When you don't, all you're doing by pulling extra mobs is taking more damage. Oh, shit, he aggroed friend. Alright, loot, 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 loot. Oh! Waylaid supply. Nice. That'll be an XP boost for us later. But we need to do this on the Screecher Spirit Corpse. And then we talk to the summoned thingy. There we go, quest credit. These things wander around quite a bit. I, I remember doing this quest in, in phase two. Big stun. Thousand damage in Venom. Nice. Yeah, I've never played Persona, but the music is really good. So, uh, I got the soundtrack and, uh, yeah, I play it sometimes. Oh, did I do the quest thing? I didn't do the quest thing on this guy's corpse. Almost forgot. 
cam is a bit oh yeah yeah because when we were watching sarth i moved it a little bit and then i forgot okay now we're back now we're back to where we're supposed to be there okay and then i saw the last screecher spirit we needed right over here thank you for reminding me danish lurker what no he's got it now ah lame um So we have to go farther this way looking for another one. But no, the guild chat's all over here anyways. That's that's permanently leaked. Although the whispers only show up in my left chat box. That's not normally supposed to be leaked. Oh, I thought I was going to have two there. The Vanish reset it nicely. Crusader banned in Warcraft logs? I think so. Okay, and now we're pulling other shit. Let's run him away. We saw last time we fought one of these, he does Yepsy call for help emote. So we want him to be far away from the other mobs. There we go. There we go. Screecher spirits collected. What do we got here? Thick Yeti hides. Okay. Blast some Yetis. And it'll be good. Oh, is that the... No, that's not the same warlock. That's a priest. I was wondering if it was the same warlock I had killed earlier. Here we go. Feral Scar Yeti. Here's the secret with um, Cheap Shot. The secret about it is it costs 60 energy and deals zero damage. So don't press it. I hope they buff the drop rate of uh, other rare... You know, today the news came out that they buffed the drop rate of Blade of Eternal Darkness. I hope they buff the drop rate of other, like, dungeon epics, right? That are, like, ultra rare. Like, let me get that 2% Fell Striker drop chance. 2% Iron Foe drop chance. 2% Rune Blade of Baron Rivendare, Staff of Grandmaster Gandling. Miss me with these 0.1% drop chance dungeon drops, you know? Combat potency is good after nerf. Combat potency did not get nerfed. Edge. This Yeti hide quest might be, um, <laughs> tough. We haven't gotten a single drop yet. Ritter, you got some Essence of Airs. Four, all four. Are you farming those out in Silithus? Are you farming them on a rogue or are you farming them on a hunter? Oh, okay, we got one. Faster to level it than try to kill. Yeah, a hundred percent. I believe you. But the thing is, 
Uh, rogues fucking pump, and I need to have at least two, maybe three rogues, now that rogues are good again. Oh, fake saw- so yeah, they- they did nerf fiery weapon. Uh, yeah, I guess that- that- you could interpret that as a combat potency nerf. But, yes, the- all three of the helm runes are good, they're just good in different circumstances. I don't think we're gonna finish this quest before our 50 minute timer for the Knoll quest ends. We currently have two Yeti hides. Your own, what's up? All your money is gone. Why is that? Were you heavily invested into Dark Iron Ordinance? You invested in the wrong Dark Iron item. Oh shit, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We PvP'd this guy before. He's called Slash PvP, so I thought it was fair to attack him. And we, um, we dunked on him and then left. But he just saw me go into stealth and I saw him go into stealth and we're about to die. Yep, yep, dead in the stun lock. <laughs> yeah, yep, 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 yep. Uh, I was not gonna see him in stealth. There was no way that was ending well for us. You were heavily invested? Dude, Jerome, you've taken an L two days in a row. Are you okay, man? You know, you it was traumatic for you uh, for the orbs getting nerfed. And now they just uh, nerfed uh, your investments. You doing okay, man? Like you need, um, things going downhill fast. Well, what I would do is I would invest in dark iron ore, okay? Cause there's no way it's not gonna be valuable next phase, right? And we can buy dark iron ore, last I checked at about 30 silver each. No, but dude, think about it. Think about the tier 0 0.5 dungeon upgrade quest. People need dark iron bars for the for, for like stage two of that quest. Everyone's gonna need dark iron bars. You know what I'm actually not sure about? I wonder if you can learn smelt dark iron right fucking now. I know the bar, I, I haven't actually gone to the bar in Blackrock Depths myself. Um. But like people say there's a bunch of bosses that are like, like you can't attack them and like you can't go deeper into the instance. I'm wondering if there's any way you could like, any way you could get past the bar and get to the chamber of the seven, which is where you would learn dark iron smelting. Dervish is there, Belgar is there. Think you can get there? The bosses are just missing. You can get past the bar. Yeah, you need to talk to one of the seven dwarves. Um, uh, I think it's Doom Rel that teaches you, that will teach you dark iron smelting when you talk to him. Cause uh, if I could do that, I could, um, you know, I, I, I could have dark iron like literally piles and piles of dark iron before phase four even goes live and just ready to rake in the cashola you know but if not i'd have to just like work really quickly when phase four goes live 
Stocking up on Elemental Fires, they're eight silver each. Yeah, Elemental Fire is good. Elemental Earth is gonna skyrocket in price as soon as someone discovers an Elemental Sharpening Stone recipe. Ritter says you can get past the bar, good to know. We are currently at four thick Yeti hides. Bro, it's this guy again. He's, he's skinning. What, he's not skinning that one? Why isn't he skinning that one? Mistake. Worth the thistle tea every time. This is how it goes. One guy gets the opener, and then it's over. <laughs> Did I miss podcast? No. Podcast is happening as soon as Sarth finishes his sunken temple raid. Stop right there, criminal scum. No, I just cheap shotted the guard. He can't stop me now. Is Sod fun for world PvP, etc.? Uh, I don't do a lot of PvP, but like when I run into some people, I think, um, mm, if I can kill this pe person, I will. But if I can't kill them, I'll try to avoid them. <laughs> and then sometimes people kill me and it's annoying, but I would say overall it's fun. It, it, is, it is definitely frustrating at times when you're like not trying to do PvP or whatever. What does this guy do? Young gorilla appears lost and frightened. Well, that's okay. Hulking feral scar yeti. Yeah, okay, aggro, blade flurry, evasion. Oh, hunter rune? Okay. I'd guess that like maybe it's for a quest I don't have yet or something. Okay, eight thick yeti hides. That's making progress. I think these, my my feels craft. My my feeling says uh, the hulking yetis have a higher drop rate. Okay, that's what I'm thinking right now. Wait, energy, 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 energy. I need energy. No, I didn't. I, I fubbed my targeting. I, I had the van. I was ready to vanish cheap shot, but I needed to get up to 60 energy before I could do that. Damn it. And, and I got to the energy, but I, I he had vanished, which cleared my target. And then I was trying to tab through to target him again. I think I could have had that if I played a little bit better. And I think I did. I think I did one ability on a mob after he attacked me, which then caused. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Can I go back up this way? Yeah, okay. It looks like I can go back up this way. Um. So I think I did one ability on a mob after he started attacking me, which caused me to have to wait for energy longer. Uh, what's the timer? 30 minutes still on Alpha Strike. That's fine. That's fine. We can, um... We can clean up this, um... Mark of Quality. Two more Yeti hides is all we need. Kuja, it's... Uh, look, Kuja, I'm dead because... Don't worry about it. Okay? We gotta get thick Yeti hides. That's all you need to worry about.
Hmm, I'm looking at my alert list. I can't remember if I called out and said thank you to Duke Nukem, who subscribed 25 minutes ago. I think I, I... I don't know if I did. Thank you, Duke Nukem. I hope you're still here, and I apologize if I missed it earlier. I remember I got the anonymous gifter before then. Sometimes I get too involved in what I'm doing. You told him to suck eggs? <laughs> Please, no. Okay. Two more hides. And that other rogue is probably still here. He's been skinning a bunch of the yetis. Oh, shit. Yep, yeah, okay. Did not react fast enough. Just, just like I said, he's probably still here. He is, in fact, still there. And we're running again. We can kill him. We killed him twice already. It, it's it's a hundred percent. Every time we've fought, it's whoever gets the opener wins. Despite him being six levels above me, it's it's just a hundred percent. Whoever gets the opener wins. Every time I got the opener, I killed him. Every time he got the opener, he killed me. If we had rank 5 Trinket, we could, like, Trinket out of his stun and then vanish and turn around on him. But we do not have that. Alright. Let's see if we can res. Start healing. Is Cut to the Chase the best performing rune right now? We have a nice FAQ section on the Discord. There's many runes that uh, you can use that are good. Uh, three different helm runes, two different wrist runes that are all good. Uh, different play styles, good in different situations. Unit scan. Slash PVP. Okay, we added him to our unit scan. So now, if he pops up, it'll be alerted, and I'll have a button right here that I can click to target him. In case it's uh, at all difficult to target him like I have mobs on me or something. I'm just going through the cave seeing if um, my unit scan will pop off before we like open up on a mob or something. Jidu says, good day sir. Hello Jidu, how's it going? Old Bane. No, no pockets to pick. Okay, let's fight this guy. You give up on the hunter character? No, we're just doing other things right now. Didn't give up just because I happen to be playing a different character right now. Still have to do the gnome request for the crafted pieces? I think so. Uh, but I don't know.
Oh, pod. Podcast. Uh, right. Sarth is doing a sunken temple, so it's going to start after his sunken temple. Yep, he's on me. Dying. Yeah. Dead in the cheap shot. Man, we didn't detect him one time prior to him opening up on us out of stealth. Don't do the engineering quest. What's so bad about the engineering quest? Gotta go to Hearth Glen. Oh my. Level 60 mobs. Yeah, yeah. One more thick Yeti hide is all we need, and then we can leave this stupid Yeti cave. I would really like to encounter this other rogue one more time when I can get the opener on him. Uh, but we haven't had that opportunity recently. Your, your did upgrade the fifth bag to lot. What? I have 10, 12, 12, 14 for bags on this character. Let's see. Can I jump into anywhere that's slightly difficult to get to? Yeah, okay. Oh, look. A Yeti respawned right here. Okay, we're full health again. That mob's coming in. No thick yeti hide for me. Uh, maybe this one will have it for me. Kidney shot failed. We'll do a slice and dice. There we go. Got the thick yeti hide. Let's heal up. Enter stealth. Get out of here. it
Now we go for the Warlocks, Gordoni Ogres. That'll be our next quest. And there's some magical orb thing we're supposed to get. Dark Ceremony Orb in the far southeast. Wait, aggroed this guy. Yeah, uh, the mobs in the open world in Season of Discovery are definitely, definitely more powerful than their, like, classic era equivalents. So our characters have a lot more power than classic era characters because... We have all these runes that are giving us these super powerful abilities. Um, but it's not like, uh, you know, you know, the world is buffed also. So everything, all the mobs are like more health and hit harder. All right, a bunch of ogres we have to kill. Let's aggro a couple of these all at once. Getting some good blade flurry value. Is it too late for me to catch up in sod phase three, Jerome? No, you're already ruined. You should know that. With the orb farm being deleted, you'd invested all your uh, three days of streaming into that. Smaller number five. Can you tell me a bit about Rogue Opener? Well, you walk up to the mob and you start attacking as early as possible. You press a mutilate, then you press a slice and dice. Then you press some more mutilates and you press in venoms when you have, I don't know, four or five combo points. And that's basically it. Oh, we got the Distress Beacon. That's for the Chicken Escort. Which we may or may not do. Wow, this mob died quickly. And Cold Blood goes on a 5 point in Venom, just like it was last phase. There's no cold blood in... No, yes, there is. What? Of course there's cold blood in Season of Discovery. Battlemaster Mage Lord drops Gordoni Orb. Possibly. Okay. We're still on a timer for this Alpha Strike quest. We were slowed down significantly due to the large quantity of times that we were killed attempting the Thick Yeti, Yeti Hide quest. Shaman, Battlemaster, Warlord, 
Hmm. Mage Lord. Go. So. Oh, who's this? Thornfist the Druid. Well, let's see if he's gonna be hostile or not. He wants to go away. Okay. I'll let him. Do you get all the righteous orbs? No, I did not, Ice Coffee. And they're gone now. There's no more righteous orbing to be done. It is nerfed. Hmm. Mauler. We already killed enough Maulers. We need to kill a bunch more shamans, though. Shaman. Warlock, also. Shamans and warlocks are the kill targets. We got our Gord Gordani orb. Uh, off of the mage lords. Oops, he's targeted the wrong thing. There we go. What takes more skill? World PvP or Arena? I don't know, dude. I don't know or particularly care about PvP. I find it's always really easy to kill someone when you get the opener on them. But then they tend to have a big advantage when they get the opener on you. Okay, what's our time on Alpha Strike? 14 minutes? Oh boy. We have to kill five Woodpaw Alphas for that quest. That means we have to clean up this Warlocks and Shaman quest quickly. Uh, we don't have to make it back to the quest giver, I don't think. We did one other timed quest before. We just needed to complete it before the timer ran out. It was okay if we didn't go and turn it in right away. I'm going to heal up a little bit. Shamans were at 5 of 6. Warlocks were at 7 or seven of 10. 5 of 10. Okay, so we need shamans. Mauler. They're more like over here. Oh, I aggroed that thing. No, it looks like that's a bear up on the top of the hill there. Shaman Warlock next to Warlords. Here, Shaman, that's what we want. And that guy reset. That's a Warlock. We can kill him too, but let's go back this way. Mage Lord, Battle Master, Shaman, Mage Lord. Okay, here's a good spot. Blade Flurry them both down. Stun, interrupt the heal. They're both dead. We took a little bit of damage. That was kind of annoying. You heal. Hmm. Trying to scout out where we can go all the time. Not sure if we're going to make it to the... I mean, I, it's coming down to close some... Um, you know, being close, like, can we complete this quest before the other quest timer runs out? 
It's getting to be a bit of a, a nail biter. I'm gonna try to shadow step over to this shaman. There we go. So we avoided aggroing the other mobs that we don't need to kill. Got him. 8 out of 10. Okay, would you ever eat a balut egg? I have no idea what that is. Oh, this is a wrong mob type. Shaman over there we want. Stun him so he can't deal damage to me. Okay. Shaman time. This will be the ninth shaman, so we'll need one more after this. There's one up there. Hang on. No, 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 don't go. Damn. I thought he was close enough to the ledge that I could uh, step up to him. Strike, shadow strike. It's shadow strike, not shadow step. Okay, well, that guy I can definitely get to. And now we just <laughs> switch the rune back to the actually good one. Then we can take this guy out. We can head north, clean up, what is it, like two warlocks that we need? Oh, my rune is on cooldown. What the hell? Okay. Can't mount here. But if I go here, I can probably mount. Yep. There we go. Make it out of here. Make sure they don't hit me from behind so they don't daze me and knock me off my mount. Warlock. Shoot. Uh, well, there's more warlocks up there. Can't exactly dismount right now because I'd have too many mobs on me. Uh, oh, I'm aggroing too much stuff. I would like to kill these warlocks. Yeah, let's just go to the, nor the farther north section. Not worry about those guys. See if we can clean up the last warlock kills we need over there. Just gonna now aggro one mob instead of two. I think if I tried to split between those, I'd aggro both. There we go, one, two warlocks. Perfect. Dropped combat. Shadow step over here. Get this guy. Is that brute? Not even going to aggro me. Nice. 8 out of 10. Interrupt. What's the timer? 8 minutes on alpha strike. Okay. Okay. Where's Warlock? Where's our last Warlock kill? Right over there is one. I like that position better. Let's go for that guy. Shadow step to him because he was in range, but then don't attack him because I don't care about that mob. But gets us to the Warlock faster. Good. Okay. Alpha strike, seven minutes. Put up a quick little stream prediction. Prediction. Will Simon complete... Complete alpha strike in time. One minute on the clock. Predictions up. Get your points in. Five alphas is all we have to do here. Find and kill. Five alphas. They're th this area.
Dude, everyone is on no right now. There's zero believers. Are you serious, dude? This is gonna be I think it's gonna be easy. I think we can do it. Maybe you guys know something I don't know about this quest. But I remember seeing it alphas just like spawned in the knoll camps before. Like it was uh not an issue. Unit scan wood paw alpha. A dead one. Hmm, that doesn't help me. Root. Root. Woodpaw Alpha. There's one. No, he healed. Okay. Reaver, Mystic. Let's keep going this way. This is where it says there are some alphas potentially. We got unit scan, just making sure we don't miss any they'll tell us for sure if an alpha pops up hmm what i'm starting to see here is that perhaps there are a lot of other people also doing this quest <laughs> and maybe our issue is not can we kill five mobs in seven minutes it's can we find five mobs in seven minutes? Wait, unit scan didn't pop off about this mob. Why did it not tell me? Vanish. What's our timer? Four minutes and we need to kill three more. Go. I think I had to like reset the unit scan or something. All right, we're mostly healed. Let's double back across the knoll camps. This time we'll be a little bit more careful. We're not going to assume that unit scan will just tell me what I need. Um, because it didn't pop off about the previous one. So maybe it's not as reliable. You normally unit scan is for finding like one unique ra named mob, right? Yeah, see, it's not alerting me on this guy either. There's a third one, so we need two more in the next three minutes. Burning consumables pretty aggressively, thistle teas and potions, to try to make this happen. Reaver. Alpha corpse. Mystic, mystic. Mystic. Reaver. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, the trick is going to be finding them. Do we get lucky and find them? Target. Where is it? Where is it? Triangle. Oh, there. Respawned over there. Unit scan did help us this time. Ooh, if I die here, I'm going to try to kill this and then sprint away, I think is the best course of action. Nice. Okay, sprint without getting dazed. 
Okay, let's keep going west. Alpha? Wait, there it is. There it is. That's the last one. Can I drop combat? All I need to do is kill this mob. And not die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. It's over. I got too aggressive. I had 90 seconds. I could have... I could... Oh, no, 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 no. I got too aggressive. Can we make it back to my corpse? My corpse is not very far away. But I only have 80 seconds left. Can I go any faster in spirit form? Hmm... One minute left. I, I think I think it's still possible. I think it's still possible. Like we just res on top of it and kill it. Forty seconds. Forty seconds is plenty of time. Look, it's still spawned. It's still spawned. I have evasion, blade flurry. And healing potion in 15 seconds. I think we give it a couple more seconds. Healing potion activated. We did it. Quest is completed. With eight whole seconds to spare. What? And return to within one hour. Wait, 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 wait. The last timed quest we did didn't work like that. The, the, the last timed quest was... Once you complete the objective, the timer was no longer relevant. Uh, okay, let's review the specific wording on the prediction. Will Simon complete Alpha Strike in time? Alpha Strike is the quest. Hadoken Swift Strider within one hour. Okay, well, we'll see if it lets us turn this in or not. But I think that I think this is gonna be a no. Alright, where's Hadoken Swift Strider? It did say we completed it for eight seconds. But we didn't actually finish the quest. I'm going to rule this one in favor of the doubters. We, we didn't... It's a little bit ambiguous on what specifically is meant here. But we didn't complete the quest. I mean, we completed the quest objectives... Kind of, but we didn't turn in the quest successfully after that. Because part of the quest objective was actually getting back to this guy. Uh, big pog damage. What brings you here? All right, let me check on Sarth. What's his situation? Are we doing this podcast or what? Is he still in Sunken Temple? Wiping, probably, because he has no trinkets. Wait. Wait, it looks like he, um... 
What's going on? He's looking at hunter logs. come in here and say sandstorm only did like a one percent of his damage but he didn't even have it on most of the time this one percent of your overall damage was literally all from the Iranicus fight Playing warp. Nice. I'm good. Give me five minutes. I'm gonna eat really fast or make one thing to eat, and then I'm good. I'm gonna message you. Uh, sandstorm. All right. All right. We just finished. Hell yeah. Okay. He says he needs to eat something, and then we'll be good. Um, I'm so over that quest. Traumatized, really. Yeah, we'll pick those. Improved quality. Rage Scar Yeti Hides. Oh, crap. We're 45 now. We could get Honor Among Thieves. We could do Honor Among Thieves quest now. Dark Heart. Uh, okay, Vengeance on the North Spring. Goodbye. All right, whatever. I'm going to say, screw it. We're done with uh, Feralus questing for now. We did a lot of questing in Feralus. We did some questing in Booty Bay. That's cool. Strength. And we got that one too. Grim Totem Horns. We'll come back to this later. There's, there's another good round of quests here in Feralus for us. We still got to do a Nomergon uh, tomorrow or the next day. We got to do Emerald Wardens at least up to Friendly so we can get our rune. Uh, yeah, is this the... No, this is not the inn. I'm going to log out over here. I'm going to go on our bank alt, see if we can um, list some auctions, see some prices of stuff, hang out a little bit. Uh, until Sarth's good to go.